Hello, ladies and gents. This is Junior Punky. I see a dancing monkey. If I see a dancing monkey, I click. Dancing monkey talks to me. That's a little weird. No, dude. Uh, by the way, uh, welcome back to Mega Man Legends 1. I'm Junior Punky. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, this is Data. He recharges your, uh, health and, uh, weapon. You can talk to him occasionally. He says stupid stuff that's really irrelevant. You can also use him to save. Let me go ahead and do so right now. No data? I see a data right in front of me! I probably should have saved off screen, but shut up. I do things the way I want. Now then, uh, last episode we were told to help a lady. Because uh, her husband is a chicken. I got stuck in my wounds. So, I'm gonna check on him. Yep, he got himself stuck. By the way, these guys are just sort of annoying. That's about all they are right now. You're a little bit more than annoying. Why do you go away? So many bombs! You got down. You all got down. Uh, by the way, the ones up there are kind of terrifying just due to the bad place that they're in. So. Hoza! They're kind of. Okay then. See how they're having issues if there's that many things down here. I almost don't blame the guy for getting stuck down. Here. By the way, these are the snakes that we were fighting earlier. Basically all the same enemies. Th there was this. Only really noteworthy thing about these guys is they, uh... I don't know, they strike through your first thing of health. You don't use your shield. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, hey, guy. How you doing? Yep. You better head home. I can outrun you. Because I've got the capability of exploit running. Okay, I'm gonna continue going further in, simply because I don't have to explore later, that's why. Now, there are things here. They blow up if you get near them. However, hit registration is kinda pooey whenever you're... The hit registration is kinda stupid whenever you're uh, on top of a hill. So, it's usually just easy to run down to the bottom of this hill. Uh, let's see. There are things down this corner. You can sort of hit them if the aim lock decides to stop it. They're actually kind of dangerous. I'm just gonna 
gonna walk backwards for a little bit. They're kind of too stupid to know that there's walls and stuff. Okay, uh, next room. Actually decent threat. Uh, you get less money for it, but they're controlled by that little uh, control robot there thing. And they're the ones that are standing up. So you can shoot that, but the issue is it gives you less money. So I'll just fight a model mono. As menacing as the fireball is, it doesn't really do that much damage, so. But I like alternating the kicks in. The kicks aren't really good for anything other than sort of uh, moving enemies back. So. Oop. Do that. Now. What? Rapid fire. <coughs> Unlike the one we found in the um, tutorial dungeon, this one is just more of a um, less of a direct offensive and more of a uh, helping item. It makes it shoot moderately faster. If I don't, there we go. Uh, as for what's over here, it just ends up being not much because there's a whole bunch of walls that we can't do anything with right now. Walk over here, but... Wow. This is a really stable game, by the way. Also pretty stupid, so can't actually get up there right now, so I'm just sort of seeing if I can no. Okay, it's not gonna go up so. That sucks. Anyways, there's not much else we can do there, so I just wanted to show it off, I suppose. In the meantime, let's get out of here. Yo, what's up? 
Yeah, probably. Still talking about the parking ticket? Ah, uh, no, you're worried about the police actually seeing you. Oh. Well, it's not mine, so. Sorry. They run around in circles. You can stop them. Yo, what's up? Yeah, glad to feel that way. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, probably he would have died. Because, or, not from getting... Uh, blown up or uh, uh, sawed in half or anything. There's probably a starvation because it's chicken! Oh, yes, I am actually. Darn. Hippopotamus. I'm not actually going to say that, because that's kind of mean. Mega Man also sounds pretty stupid, but... Come on, Hippopotamus, man. They actually refer to you as Hippopotamus for the rest of the game, too, so... Ah, uh, let's just stick with Mega Man. Mine parts kit. And she's an engineer. Wonder what she'll think of it. Oh. If you can't find any parts in town, I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. Digging That's for what parts. The man at the junk store said. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. What? This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy and boom! Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? Nope. I'll get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to... Uh, basically, she just talks to you about, about how it works. I'll explain it as it comes along. So, yeah. We got a mines. I just said a mines, and ironically, kill me ah, now. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you so I could give you this. Your citizen's card. Now, you'll be able to use the city gates. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened. Why is that? Pirates. 
We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. Pirates? Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be all right? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. If you'll excuse me. I'm worried about Gramps. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful. I think she's gonna try and get the car fixed up, so... Also, landmines. Don't walk into them and they'll blow up. Or, you know what? I'll say it. There you go. That's what they do. Uh, doing that twice will probably kill me. So. That shield really does save lives. Yep, yep, that's sure. That's sure, whatever. Anyhow, we're supposed to go inside the city. I think we'll do that. Uh, by the way, there's some punks over there. Or the uh, jerks from earlier that were uh, complaining about me being a stranger. I wouldn't be a stranger if you got to know me, you know. Basically, you can just sort of kick in its general direction, and eventually you'll hit it. Or that'll happen. <laughs> uh, it actually takes a little bit of effort to get that down from there. Though. I just want to get up there and say I did it. No, wait, just there. I gotta get up there just for the sake of it. I have to. I just gotta say I can do it. <laughs> okay, whatever. By the way, uh, jerks over here. Uh, if you make too much noise, they'll complain about you. Also, can I just say the way that he runs is hilarious? Okay. Okay. Curious about this lady. Very, very curious about this lady. Okay, got it. Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible and stay on schedule. That's right. You've got it. Huh? What are you looking at?
You know, I, I thought at first they were exaggerating about uh, she's probably a pirate, but uh, yeah, that's pretty damning, damning evidence right there. Also, apparently, uh, this uh, town is English because uh, everybody drives on the left side of the road. Or Japanese, but that's beside the point. I have a question, though. Why do you need a bus for a town this big? Like, literally, you can see from one end of it to the other. Is there, like, a ton of fat people here or something? say uh, end this off here and uh, do some more talking about this stuff later anyhow like the video comment the video subscribe the video yeah whatever anyhow I'll talk to y'all later peace out